In this video, we will look at how to launch a Microsoft Teams meeting. So here I am in Microsoft Teams. If you scheduled your meeting within a class team, there's a couple of ways to get to that meeting. One, you can navigate into the team. Then you can navigate into the channel where you schedule the meeting. And you can click down here to open up the meeting details and join the meeting. The other way to get to your meeting to launch it is you can click on the Teams calendar at the left, which will basically display your Outlook calendar events. And so you can navigate to the meeting event. You can click on it once and you can click join. All right, once you click join, you're going to see your video. Hi, everybody. And here you can begin looking at these settings prior to launching your meeting. So for example, if you don't want your video on, you can go ahead and click this toggle switch and turn off your video, turn it back on. If you want to use a background filter before you start the meeting, you can click on the background filters. You can blur your background. You can select a scene, or you can click Add New to upload your own. Then you'll see some audio settings over here to the right. You notice you have computer audio, you have phone audio, room audio, and don't use audio. Now, I can tell you for our organization, we are not using phone audio, so folks cannot call in to the meetings and utilize that. So this, this would not be an option for anybody. Room audio is another one that we're not using. This would be uh, a situation where we have conference audio technology set up and where you could tap into that technology and utilize it during your meeting. So that we wouldn't use. The last option, don't use audio. This essentially mutes your microphone before entering the meeting so that you don't cause any disruptions. But know that you can mute your mic right here prior to joining the meeting. So in a, in a way, this is a little bit redundant. But if you feel like you're never going to be speaking during the meeting, you're just there to listen in, then you might want to select don't use audio. It's always a good habit to turn off your mic before entering a meeting. Unless you're the host, if you're the host, obviously launching this meeting, you're going to want to turn this on. 99% of the time, you're just going to want to click computer audio. All right, and then once you've done that, you're just going to go ahead and click join now, and you will get connected into the meeting. So now the meeting room functionality has loaded, and I have my meeting room toolbar up here at the top where I can adjust settings further and interact with my attendees. All right, and that is how you launch a Teams meeting.